Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Wednesday's episode of Good Morning Tottenham Away. The names are piling in. Look, it's clear that Postacoglu, at least the interest from him is that, or from what we're hearing, is that he wants to bring in four slash five new names. Two of them seems to be at the back, particularly centre-backs. Um, obviously, the goalkeeper we have spoken um, the last few days over David Raya is obviously the name that's been talked about the most, albeit Man United uh, look to try and ha to try and get in on that deal. Um, another goalkeeper that I we and we spoke about this on Monday night, Jose Sarr from 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 Wolves is is a, is, a, is a goalkeeper that I personally spoken about in the past that I personally like and, and and rate highly obviously Diogo Costa Portuguese international is another name that's been been fun about but so it's clear the goalkeeper is an absolute must and, I, and you know there's no point because it sounds like I'm repeating myself we have to get a top top goalie in my in my opinion and these three for different various uh, different characteristics but all three of them fall in line with we've been a really good goalkeeper but it seems to be that the centre back area, and obviously Postacoglu being a centre back himself, uh, will have identified that there's an absolute issue there. Um, with Longley, it seems he's going back to Barcelona. It doesn't look like he's going to be signed, and obviously Sanchez and Dyer are not meeting the requirements. So there should be movement. And the latest name is um, uh, Roger Ibanez, according to a report from Roma Gialorossa, the Italian club will have to raise 30 million euros by the end of the month. And selling the banners is the only option right now. The newly appointed Tottenham manager, Posta Coglu, is an admirer of the Brazilian defender and Tottenham are now set to step up the efforts to sign the player. The report claims that contact have now intensified between the two parties and an official offer to Roma could arrive within a few days. Apart from Tottenham, West Ham have been monitoring the defender since last last summer as well. Ibanez is, is valued at 30 to 35 million euros, but he could be allowed to leave for an offer of around 25 to 30 million euros. Tottenham certainly have the financial resources to get the deal done and they should look to secure an agreement with the Italian club soon. It's no secret that Tottenham need to bring in the defensive reinforcements, especially with how uh, players like Dyer and Sanchez have performed this past season. Um, we've looked quite blah, 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 blah. Ibanez could be a quality partner for Christian Romero at the heart of Tottenham's defence. Furthermore, he is versatile enough to operate as a fullback, and he could be an asset for Tottenham and Postacoglu in the, in the coming seasons. Um, listen, he, he's, he's solid. Ibanez is solid. Is solid. I, I think memory says me right. He's a left-footed player as well, so that, that he does cover the fullback. Um, the fullback. He has covered uh, the fullback areas as well. But for me, it's clear, it's very, very, very clear that we're returning to a back four, uh, which is what um, Posta Coglu prefers to play in. We're going to have two attacking fullbacks. It, it, it will be that they, they play inverted inverted as well or are they going to come on the inside so I truly believe that the two centre backs have to be top top draw and I believe a real good partner for Christian Romero uh, a le obviously left sided um, full back because a left sided centre back sorry but with Romero playing a right centre back is absolutely key. And we have to get that partnership right. A South American partnership, it could be. Listen, it, it, whatever, man. Anything's got to be better than presenting ourselves come, you know, 31st of July with the same old, same old centre. We don't want to be in a situation where we still have Sanchez, Dyer, Davis, and all of that come um, come the end of the transfer market. For me, this is the area. They're saying two centre-backs. So he's obviously looking at a, a partner for Romero, but also having 
a, a backup situation uh, to wear, or at least alternate with the with the other two fellas. So for me, that area, that 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 whole goalkeeper, the two set, absolute key moving forward. I think we've got two really good attacking um, attacking football uh, footballers at the club already. Um, fullbacks, Poro is one of them. Obviously, I'm excited for um, Udoji. I don't, I don't want to put too much pressure on the kid. Regulon coming back to the frame as well. Will he be part of the Spurs team moving forward under under this new manager? But he presents a, a, an attacking option and certainly a forward thinking fullback that can defend as well. So all of a sudden things will take and, and I definitely know the two the centre midfielders Basuma, whilst we await for Bentenko, who's gonna be the other player to be part of that that midfield? I think that is very much key. Going forward, we have the options there, but we'll think about think going forwards further down the line. For me, right now, the goalkeeper and the two centre backs have to be the number one priority. But at the same time, there's a lot of talk, a lot of talk of this, a lot of talk of that, a lot of talk of that. But in in in, in the grand scheme of things, very little has been done so far. Yes, it's only early June. I get that, but. I feel like we st we we got to start wrapping some signings up. Although they won't be officially uh, 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 announced to the first of July, this this is the month where you put all the all these things in place and get them all announced. And then come first of July, you go ban 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 on announcing them. That I'm hoping somewhere at the back of my mind, I'm hoping that this is what's happening and this is what's taking place. So far, I've seen very little evidence of it. But let's see what happens in the next few days. It's going to be a long old June. This so this this month is going to be quite. It's going to feel quite long. So it'll be interesting to see how things unfold. Let me know your thoughts, guys, um, in the comments below. Um, let me know how you're how you're how you're seeing it, how you're living it, and 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 do you feel like me that we're going to get. Uh, that area centre backs and 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 the goalkeeper has to be wrapped up straight up so then we can start concentrating on the mid the attacking midfielders and perhaps perhaps maybe another attacking option let me know your thoughts as i said in the comments below like the video please smash that like it takes a few seconds just to smash that like and subscribe to the channel both here on tottenham away and of course tottenham away too and we await, we await to see what goes on at the lane. As always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs.